Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I just wanted to thank everyone for all of the beautiful comments and the nice, kind, supportive community that we have on here. And I also wanted to comment on the lighting today is kind of strange in a good way. But if you can see all of the light coming in and you can almost see like the rainbows, I hope that shows up when I stop recording the video. But sometimes you can catch the spiritual healing energy and it's reflective like a rainbow, like the rainbow light body. So I've been kind of, you know, I observe things and I observe comments and I observe what people think and, and, and what's going on. <laughs> and I think that we are maybe getting confused with physical evolution and spiritual evolution. So as we spiritually evolve, we will also physically evolve, but we first have to make the free will. So maybe we'll physically evolve to 5D one day, right? But first we have to evolve on a spiritual level or choose to evolve on a spiritual level, spiritual evolution. I don't really like to use the word ascend because it implies that we're going somewhere, <laughs> like ascending to heaven. And from my perspective, we're supposed to bring heaven to earth. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So when God's kingdom is here on earth, so when heaven is on earth, then the job or the mission will be over or will evolve into something else, right? I know those words from like 15 years of Catholic school, baby. <laughs> so Right, so we have a physical body, we have an emotional body, and we have a light body. And I think we're getting confused on evolution and what we have the power to do right now is spiritually evolve. I think it would make sense to most people that before you came here, you were like, yeah, I'm going to come with every single thing I need and set myself up for perfect success. Whether you're a star seed, whether you're whoever you say you are or who you think you are, your soul, your light body came here, made in the likeness and image of God. So God being the all being creator, the spiritual energy, the soul, the soul, the, the universe, the source, the force of the universe. We are also the source, the force of the universe because we are part of that energy, that spiritual energy. Every single person incarnated into a human body who has a soul is made in the likeness and image of the creator. And that is Jesus Christ's message, his actual message, what I believe his true message is. And I posted something funny on Telegram, just trying to be funny. Maybe he was one of the original contactees. <laughs> and maybe he already gave one of the most important messages, which is that one. And uh, yeah, and maybe we should just listen to him. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought I was being funny. Maybe not. The Kundalini energy. So we are all born with the Kundalini energy, which when we have a soul, which is the life force. Have you ever met someone and they have such a vibrant energy, like they're full of life, like babies, like children, they're so full of life. The Kundalini energy, it starts at the base of the spine in the root chakra. It is the eternal flame. And by the way, anyone who plays or tries to manipulate fire will get burned. No pun intended. <laughs> But when you try, when you try and mess with the creator, it's karmically will not end well, right? Or it will create an experience where you actually, where you prevent yourself from ascending or prevent yourself from evolving, therefore getting burned. So the creative energy starts at the base of the spine from the root chakra, spirals all the way up and can connect to source, the all loving, the all knowing the all being creator. And that's what we all have the power to do. And that's what we're all trying to figure out how to do. And I will tell you, the universe works off of intention and we work in a free will universe. So if you make the intention to awaken that spiritual energy or awaken into who you truly are, to remember who you truly are, those who believe in me have eternal life. So those who believe in Christ, the anointed one, we are all the anointed ones because we're all made in the likeness and image of Christ, right? So when you believe in that, you will have eternal life, i.e. you are eternal life, okay? 
So this is like the big, the big uh, thing that we're all trying to figure out here, right? And the reason why these elites are pedophiles or prefer to, um, you know, abuse children in that way, I'm trying to find the right word, is because it opens up the root chakra and then they can steal the life force or steal the souls of children. So this is the big um, master plan behind all of this child, little people, abuse, and the pedophilia. It's drawing their attention to the root chakra, abusing them so that they can open up that doorway and pull all of that source energy through their body, through their light body, and steal the life force energy of children, right? So this is the, this is the Antichrist, part of the Antichrist message is needing to do anything externally in order to evolve or in order to have eternal life. So Jesus, the messenger said, or a lot of ascended masters have said this, or this is a representative, it's like a, it's a universal message, I'll just say that. <laughs> we already have eternal life by returning to who, you, who we are and by realizing who we actually are. We are eternal life. We are the force. We are the source. The Antichrist message is needing to do anything outside of ourselves externally in order to be saved, in order to evolve, i.e., um, this is a great example, and I'm going to use different words because of YouTube censorship, but the belief that something needs to be changed either in a gender way or a genetic way or something needs to be sacrificed like uh, animals or little people need to be sacrificed or something needs to be sacrificed in exchange for eternal life. That is the Antichrist message. Why? Because they're tricking you into giving over a life force so that they can have it and then they have eternal life. So it's stealing, but it's coded in a message like we're going to save you and this is a gift, etc., etc. One of the best examples I can think of, and I cannot use this word on YouTube, but drinking the A word, you are sacrificing a life force and then you get to consume that life force for eternal life, to have eternal life to remain ageless, uh, those kinds of things. So, <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end and the universe works off, in, off of intention. So this is all up to us. If we want to ascend, if we want to evolve spiritually, it's free will. The aliens, any type of external force, we don't need their help. This is what we trained for lifetimes to do. All of us, all of us, the souls incarnated here, in my opinion, are the most powerful ones. <laughs> and I don't care, all of the councils, the Galactic Federation of whoever can listen to me and listen to my video and know that I mean that. <laughs> that the souls that came here are the bravest, the most badass, the ones with the most powerful life force energy to complete this mission or to complete this purpose of bringing heaven to earth. So that's what I believe, and that's what Megan thinks. <laughs> and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Lots of love to you guys, and I'll be back with more videos.